Initially, it was an emotional connection. Uh, when I walked into this room, I glanced over and immediately thought of my two nieces. I have one that is seven and one that's four. And uh, the seven-year-old, Ellen, she paints in a very Jackson Pollock style. And uh, Luella, the youngest, she paints with the inspiration of her spiritual connection to God. Um, and when I came over and spent a little bit more time with painting, I realized um, the way in which Paul Jenkins paints is very spiritual. And um, I held on to that and I took a picture of it and sent it to my sister and told her I could just see the girls here when I, when I stand for this piece. And she instantly texted me back a picture of Ellen standing right in front of it saying that it was her very favorite piece in the museum. I noticed I couldn't find any brush strokes on the piece, and um, I noticed uh, the edges and how they seemed to diffuse out, and that there was clearly a lot of water that was used um, in creating it, and then I ended up reading more about the piece and the way in which Paul creates his paintings, and he pours paint onto the canvas and uh, moves the canvas around and directs the paint and really enables the paint to have a certain amount of control. Um, and I thought that was very fascinating. I definitely see a lot of similarities with the way in which glaze on my pieces or the paint on my piece moves around um, and during the process. I don't paint onto a piece and expect that when the piece comes from the kiln that the same pattern or the same stroke is still there because I use uh, glaze that is comprised of different minerals and metals. Um, it is up to the piece in a certain way and to the environment of the kiln in a certain way of how they will all react to one another. So I uh, definitely felt a connection within uh, the amount of control that I have and the amount of control that my piece actually has within its own process.